If you want to develop or improve significantly, you need to switch things up. Start doing things differently and this might be exactly the thing you need. You need to concentrate solely for some period of time and make time for it. And let all your time be spent on practicing and obviously you can learn all of it together. When you actually practice, regular improvement will inevitably follow. And today's video is on sets and relations. And today I am going to define Venn diagrams, basic operations on sets and the fundamental theorem on sets. So here in this video, and let me explain you what are these Venn diagrams. See here, Venn diagrams are simply when Euler diagrams or simply Venn diagrams is a way of representing the relationship between sets. So in between the sets. So it is the way to represent using a Venn diagram. These Venn diagrams consist of rectangles and the closed curves usually circles. As you know, so it is a rectangle in shape and in between there will be circles. So here in this U. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are all the elements of the set and which is a universal set. And if you take A, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is a subset of this main set. Then the Venn diagram is as follows. So if you consider this as U, so U is a universal set which consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whereas A is a subset of this main set which consists only a few elements that is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So this is the way how to represent using the Venn diagram. So here Euler Venn diagram or simply a Venn diagram is a way of representing the relationship between the sets. See here these diagrams generally consist of rectangles and a closed curves usually circles. So here is an example. Now the basic operations on sets. So what are the basic operations on sets? The first one is union of sets. So here union of two sets. The union of two or more sets is the set of all elements which are either individual or both in common. See here in symbolic form the union of A and B is written as A union B and is read as A union B. See here, as you know, this is the Venn diagram. So this is the set A and this is the set B and this is the universal set. So combining A elements and B elements together, so E is called the union. In the set builder form, A union B can be represented as X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. The union of two sets can be represented by the Venn diagram as the shaded portion. So this whole shaded portion is called the union. Union means the elements in A as well as B. So combining together is called the union. So joining of A and B is called the union of sets. And the next one is intersection of sets. See here the intersection of two sets A and B is the set of all those elements which belongs to both A and B. So it should contain, the elements should contain both in A as well as B. So we denote intersection as A intersection B. So we read A intersection B as A intersection B. Symbolically, A intersection B can be represented as X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Whereas in the E union, X is such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. So for union we use or and for intersection we use and. This shaded portion in the Venn diagram represents A intersection B. So here is the shaded portion. So the common elements in A as well as B is called the intersection. For example, if you take A is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8 and B is equal to 7, 8, 9, 10. In this what are the common elements? So 7 is common in both the sets. And the next one, 8 is common in both the sets. So 5 is there here and 5 is not there. And here if you see 6 is there and 6 is not there. So 9 is available in B and 9 is unavailable in A. So here the common elements in both A and B is called the intersection. And therefore A intersection B is equal to 7, 8. And the next operation here is the disjoint sets. So what are disjoint sets? So, there is no joint, disjoint. So, consider A and B. So, consider A and B are two finite sets. And if there is no common element in both A and B, if there is no common element between A and B, such sets are called disjoint sets. And here, 
there is no common element if there is common element so a intersection b so if a intersection b is empty then we say that a and b are disjoint two sets see here two sets are said to be disjoint if they have no common elements clear the intersection of um, the intersection of two sets is a null set they are disjoint elements so this is another point and this one is another point and next one disjoint sets can be represented by the means of a Venn diagram see here disjoint sets can be represented by the means of a Venn diagram as shown in the adjacent figure so here a and b they are no common elements so there are no common elements between a and b and this is the union and therefore here the Venn diagram is represented as this so if a is equal to 2 4 6 and b is equal to 3 5 7 so is there any common element 2 is there here and 2 is not there 4 is there here 4 is not there 6 is there 6 is not there whereas 3 5 7 are not available in the set a and therefore there are no common elements the intersection is empty and therefore a and b are disjoint see here union means bringing all the elements together intersection means the common elements between a and b disjoint means the intersection is 5 empty null void and the next one is difference of sets see here the difference of a and b is the set of the elements which belongs to a but does not belong to c does not belongs to b so which belongs to a and which does not belongs to b so there is a difference here we de denote the difference of a and b as a minus b or simply a minus b in set builder form so a minus b can be represented as x such that x belongs to a and x doesn't belongs to does not belongs to b so in the venn diagram see here so here b is eliminated from a so a minus b so b is subtracted from a so this is the venn diagram for a minus b and this is the diagram for b minus a so from b from b set a is a part is eliminated so a part is subtracted and therefore this is b minus a and never a minus b equals b minus a so remember that one a minus b is never equals b minus a it is a set builder form that is x such that x belongs to a and x doesn't belongs to b whereas for b minus a x belongs to b and x doesn't belongs to a so the next thing is the fundamental theorem on sets so what is the fundamental theorem on sets? It's also very easy. If A and B are two sets, so if you consider A and B as two sets here, then A union B is equal to, so N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. Here, what is N of A union B? Which means that the number of elements in the set A union B. So which means the cardinal, cardinal number of A union B. See here in A union B set if there are 4 elements then N of A union B will be 4. So N of A is nothing but the number of elements in set A and N of B is nothing but the number of elements in set B. So these are all the fundamental things. So in this video I have explained all in detail about the Venn diagrams, the basic operations on sets. So which is nothing but union of sets, intersection of sets, disjoint sets, differences of sets. And next one is, this is the fundamental theorem on sets. So, these are all the things which I have explained today. In sets and relations, these are all the basic things. So, if you have an idea on these, what is union, intersection, disjoint, difference. So, you will be solving so many problems related to these series. If you really like this video, please raise your thumb, pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel. And have a look at my next video too. That is also most important. And sets and relations are going on this week. And please, if you want to follow daily, you follow my classes. Definitely, it will be very helpful. Please watch the playlist, pass it on to your friends. Thank you for staying till the end.